this video that covers gas volumes and gas volumes in reactions. So for reactions between gases, so gas reactions, uh, we can find the volume of a gas quite easily because when they react each with each other, we can measure the molar quantities. So for example, let's say you have a, um, a gas, uh, gas X, uh, which has two moles and reacts with gas Y and that produces two moles of glass Z. Here, if we are given that there is 30 decimeters cubed of gas Y, then we can say that, well, in this equation, there is one mole of gas Y, and this produces two moles of gas Z, and therefore we can double our volume because we know that one mole produce one mole is equivalent to 30 decimeters cubed so therefore there is 30 times 2 decimeters cubed of Z so therefore altogether there are 60 decimeters cubed of gas Z so now we'll have a look at some questions so the first question we've got and what will be good to hear pause the video and try the questions and then after each after we go through the question after I have read through the question pause it try the question and then unpause and then you can see if you got the correct answer so we'll start with number one find the volume of hydrogen gas that reacts with 200 centimeters cubed of nitrogen gas measured at the same temperature and pressure so in this situation here we have nitrogen gas so there is one mole of N2 and that has 200 centimeters cubed. If we look, one mole of N2 reacts with three moles of hydrogen. Therefore, we are going to be going to triple our volume of nitrogen, which gives us 600 centimeters cubed. So that is our answer to number one. Question two, find the volume of oxygen gas that we actually 10 decimeter cubed of sulfur dioxide gas measured at the same temperature and pressure. So again, pause the video, try the question. If you have paused the video, then we can see that we actually have 10 decimeter cubed of sulfur dioxide gas. Well, there is two moles of sulfur dioxide gas, so two SO2 or we should actually write it as that one, uh, and this bit is 10 decimeter cubed. There is only one mole of O2, therefore it's going to be 10 divided by 2. There is 5 decimeters cubed of O2. Question 3. Find the volume of hydrogen gas that reacts with 160 centimeters cubed of oxygen gas measured at the same temperature and pressure. So here we have one mole of oxygen and this is 160 centimeters cubed and we have two moles of hydrogen. Therefore, we're going to do 160 times 2 because we're doubling the number of moles that we have and therefore we double the volume, so it becomes 320 centimetres cubed. Question 4. Find the volume of CO2 gas formed at room temperature and pressure when 10 grams of propane burns in oxygen. Now this is actually more complicated because we have a mass in grams uh, and actually we want to find a volume. So therefore, first of all, we need to uh, calculate some moles. So in the first part here, we have uh, we want to find the moles of C3H8. So to find the moles of C3H8, first of all, we're going to use the equation where moles equals mass over MR. The mass is equal to 10 grams and the mole and the MR 
in this one is going to be well the uh, MR carbon is three, so it's three times. Uh, sorry, there's three carbons, and the MR of carbon is twelve, so it's three times twelve plus eight, which is the uh, well eight times one is the MR of hydrogen is one, so that gives us thirty six plus eight, which is equal to forty four. So the moles of C3H8 is equal to 10 divided by 44, which is equal to 0 0.227 moles. So that gives us a number of moles of propane. And we're looking, we want to find how much moles of CO2 is produced. Well, in this situation, what we can say is that, well, one, uh, one well, so like the equivalent of one mole of C3H8, uh, it produces three times that. So here in this situation, that 0.227 moles are produced are used here. So it's going to be 0.227 times three, because this is three times. So we're going to get three times worth of moles. So in this one, it's going to be three times 0.227, so 0.681 moles, and this is for of CO2. So now we've got that one, uh, we can then calculate the volume. Uh, so the volume of a gas at room temperature pressure. So this one we need to know actually one mole uh, is equivalent to 24 decimeters, sorry, decimeter cubed. So therefore, when we have our mole of gas, we're going to do 0.681 times 24 and that finds is our volume okay so if we know that one mole of gas is at 24 decimeters cubed we simply state you know how many moles do we have so 0.681 and times that by 24 and that gives us our final value 16.4 decimeters cubed so this one's a bit more complicated but again break it down if you don't know um, like the, any of the volumes you can calculate the volumes using the moles equations and it's linking it all together Okay, next question we have is question five. Again, similar question will be similar idea here. Okay, so hopefully you give it this a go. Uh, find the mass of potassium fluoride formed when 100 centimeters cubed of fluorine gas reacts completely with potassium. Now this one, we note here that not all the reactants are gases. In fact, only one of the reactants is gases, which is fluorine. So the first thing we need to do is we need to convert that um, and, and basically find the moles. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say moles equals mass over MR, um, which is not helpful in this situation because you're given a volume. So what else can we say? Well, we could say that um, the moles times 24 equals the volume in decimeter cubed. Now here we have an issue because we have 120 centimeters cubed um, and we, this is the moles in decimeter cubed so we need to convert this. So to convert from um, how we're going to convert, well first of all let's rearrange the equation. So moles equals the volume in decimeter cubed divided by 24. And to convert from decimeter cubed to centimeter cubed, um, what we're going to say is we're going to divide this value by a thousand. So we're going to plug this into here, and the volume is going to be 120 divided by 24 times a thousand, which is equal to 120 divided by. 24,000 and therefore that gives us the moles of fluorine gas that we have which is equal to 0 0.05 moles. So that was the tricky part of this and that's the new part that we've seen of the questions today. Everything else we just tick forward. So find the mass of potassium fluoride formed. So potassium fluoride Kf. So the mass that is formed is going to be as follows. 2 because we've got two moles 
uh, or two, we've got two to one ratio, two to one molar ratio here. So it's going to be two times 0 0.005, which gives you 0 0.01 moles. And then from here, we're going to calculate the mass. So here we're going to say that moles equals mass over MR. Again, we want to uh, calculate what the MR is of potassium fluorine. So that's simply going to be um, the mo the mass uh, the MR sorry of fluorine is equal to nineteen, uh, and the MR of potassium is equal to thirty nine. So to combine together, that gives you fifty eight. Uh, so then the moles times MR is equal to mass by rearranging the equation and then we say that the moles is equal to 0 0.01 times 58 so therefore it's 0 0.58 grams as our final answer okay let's move on to question six so try this one if you haven't already Find the volume of oxygen gas that reacts with 4 decimeter cubed butane gas measured at the same temperature and pressure. So here um, we have butane, so there's 4 decimeters cubed, which is from 2 moles of C4H10. And we want to get up to 13 moles of oxygen. So there's 13 moles of O2. So the way that we can do this one is that you can, um, well, essentially the easiest way uh, is just to go from 2 to 13. So that one is, you can either get there by multiplying by 6.5, or if you weren't sure how to calculate this, you can divide by 2 and then times 13. That will get you back your result. Both ways will give you the correct answer. So 4 times 6.5 is equal to 26 decimeters cubed. Alternatively, 4 divided by 2 is 13, times by uh, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and then times that by 13 is 26. So both methods here can be used. But this is very similar to the earlier questions we did, just with a more awkward set of numbers. Uh, and just to clarify as well, uh, oh yeah, yeah, fine. Okay, so then we move on to question seven. Find the volume of hydrogen gas formed when 0 0.54 grams of calcium reacts with hydrochloric acid. So in this situation here, um, we want to find um, our, uh, again, we've got a mixture of gases, liquids, and solids. So we need to find some moles. So the first things first is find the number of moles of calcium. Um, so moles equals mass over MR. And here the mass is 0 0.54. Then we're going to divide that by the MR of calcium. So go to your periodic table, find calcium, which is in group 2. We find that has an MR of 40. So then plug that into your calculator, so 0 0.54 divided by 40 gives you 0 0.0135 moles. The next step is to then relate them. So here's a 1 to 1 ratio because we're looking for find the volume of hydrogen gas. So the H2 moles is equal to 0 0.0135. And then from here, we can just find the volume. So the volume of H2, now remember this is a gas, and we're at room temperature and pressure. So again, you need to use the fact that one mole of gas is equal to 24 decimeter cubed. So therefore, the volume of hydrogen is equal to 0 0.0135 times 24. So you just simply times the number of moles by 24 and you get your value. So this is 0 0.324 decimeter cubed. 
and that's it for question 7. Question 8, find the volume of carbon dioxide gas formed when 150, where 1.5 grams of calcium carbonate reacts with hydrochloric acid. So calcium carbonate here, um, again, mixture of solids, liquids and gases. Um, so we're trying to find, calcium carbonate is this one, and we're trying to find the number of, uh, the volume, sorry, of CO2 produced. So in this situation, again, we need to find the moles. So moles is mass over MR, which is equal to 1.5, and then we need to find the MR of calcium carbonate. So the MR of calcium carbonate is going to be the MR of calcium, which is 40, plus 12, which is the MR of carbon, plus 3 times 16. Plugging that into the calculator gives you an MR of 100. So it's going to be 1.5 divided by 100, which is equal to 0 0.015 moles. Then if we look at the molar ratio, so 1 mole of CaCO3 is to 1 mole of CO2. So therefore the mole of CO2 is equal to 0 0.015 moles. In the last step, we are going to then find the volume, and again, is simply to find the volume of CO2, we use the fact that one mole of gas equals 24 decimeter cubed. So that's equal to 0 0.015 times 24, which is equal to 0 0.36 decimeter cubed. Okay, question 9. Uh, find the volume of carbon dioxide, measure the room temperature, when 6 kilograms of ethane burns in oxygen. So this time ethane, C2H6, and we're trying to find the volume of carbon, dust, carbon dioxide gas, which is 4 CO2. So again, we've got, um, we've got a mass here, not a volume, so we need to find the number of moles, because we're given a mass in kilograms, so moles equals mass over MR. Here, the mass of CO, C2H6 is 6,000, because remember, in the molar calculations, you use grams. So this is going to be 6,000 grams. Uh, and the MR of C2H6 is going to be 12 times 2 plus 6, uh, which is equal to 30. So 6,000 divided by 30 gives you 200 moles. From here, we want to find the moles of C, uh, for CO2, so there's a 2 to 4 ratio, or simplified to 1 to 2. So therefore, we simply multiply uh, 200 by 2 to find 400 moles, which is the moles of CO2. And then from here, we want to find the volume of CO2. So the volume of CO2 produced is just simply going to be 400 times 24, because we know that, again, one mole of gas equals 24 decimeter cubed. So plugging that in means we get 9,600 decimeter cubed. Okay, final one we've got here is find the mass of the following gases uh, measured at room temperature and pressure. So here we've got 7.2 decimeter cubed of ammonium. So the first thing we want to do is find the moles. Um, so to find the moles here, uh, we say mole equals 24 times the vol um, divided by the vol. Sorry, my mistake, my mistake. So we go back um, to the equation that says that the volume equals the moles times 24, and then we rearrange. So V over 24 is equal to the moles. Now remember, this is the moles in decimeter cubed. If you have centimeters cubed, which is like an earlier question, then it's going to be V divided by 24 times 1,000, which is equal to moles. So this is when the moles are in centimeters cubed. So it's really important that you 
understand the difference here between decimeter cubed and centimeter cubed. So if we want to find the mass, um, again, we're also going to use the formula of moles equals mass over MR, uh, and then rearrange that. So MR times moles is equal to mass. So the first question, we've got 7.2 decimeter cubed of ammonium. So we're going to use the first one here. So the moles is equal to uh, 7.2 divided by 24. Remember, it's in decimeter cubed, so we just divide it by 24, and that's equal to 0 0.3. Then to find the mass, uh, the mass is equal to the moles times the MR, which is equal to 0 0.3 times NH3. So that's going to be 14, which is the MR of N, and then H is 3, so 0 0.3 times 17, which is 5.1 grams. For the second and next question, uh, part B, we've got 480 centimetre cubed of nitrogen. So for part B, the moles is equal to 480 divided by 24,000. And that gives you 0 0.02. And then finally, you would just say that the mass is equal to 0.02 times the MR. And the time the MR of uh, nitrogen is 14 times 2, which is 28. So 0.02 times 28 gives you 0.56 grams. And then part C, we've got 100 centimeters cubed of oxygen. So this is simply going to be 100 divided by 24,000 which is equal to 0 0.00417 moles. And then finally, we use the mole uh, to find the mass. The mass is equal to 0 0.00417 times the MR of oxygen, which is uh, 16 times 2, which is 32. And that's equal to 0 0.133 grams. And that brings to the end of these questions.